Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Miss Beeline. And in today's video, I'm going to be uh, sharing my thoughts on this Big Chop wig by Tony Daly. I've had it for about a year or a little bit over a year so far. So I just wanted to share my thoughts and to also give you some tips and tricks that you would perhaps find helpful. And if you are interested in hearing my update on this unit, then please keep watching. All right, so let's get into this hair. Like I said, I've had it for about a year or a little bit over a year now, but let me tell you what actually happened. I bought the hair, I was intrigued, I saw videos and pictures, I even saw videos with Tony styling it, and I'm like, okay, yes, I can deal with the big chop because I ordered her Tony wig before and it was just too much hair. It was too much hair, I could not deal with Tony. It was big, bodacious, very dense, but she does say that on the site and she has said that verbally. So I wasn't su super surprised, but I thought I could work with it because I've had, if you've been following me, you know I get dense units all the time and I just customize it. But like I said, this hair is not the same as what I'm used to dealing with. So when I saw the big chop, I said, oh yeah, that's my kind of hair. I can deal with that. Well, if you're like me and you do not like big, luscious, hey, I just walked in the room kind of hair, then even the big chop will be intimidating for you. Let me tell you. It is tapered and it is a little bit, you know, more, I guess it has a little bit more shape than the Tony wig, but let me tell you something it's some hair on this cap you hear me <laughs> well i took it out of the pack and i tried my best to do something with it long story short i put it back in the box put it away and i said maybe i'll just give it away i couldn't deal with it. It, it i felt like a clown i felt like it wasn't me i just couldn't deal with all that hair well i revisited the unit obviously and i just played around with it uh, someone on facebook asked me did i record it and i did not record because like i said this hair is different it's not i'm gonna come in closely see these are like big coils you see this now keep in mind it's been a year now so it's, it don't look like it's freshly out of the pack but see these are coils and i have not separated them on purpose i don't want to separate them it's it's dense enough i don't need to have extra frizz but you see this see i'm not used to that kind of hair but that takes me to my tip number one if you decide to purchase the big chop wig the first thing i would advise you to do is to shake it out <clears throat> and if you wear a side part if you like a part make an indention that's the first thing i did this it didn't come like this it, it, it was just you know a tapered cap of hair and that's what was throwing me off because i don't wear my hair like that so much so i just took my fingers and separated separated it here on the left side that's where I like to wear my part and I just encouraged it mm, mm, mm. encourage it this way uh, I took a couple of bobby pins to help it to stay that way or if you like it in the middle maybe you can do that however you feel comfortable but if you wear a part comfortably and you like that look on you I would suggest doing that right away Personally, that helped me to see the potential in the wig. That's what I should have done in the beginning, but I didn't. Um, but once I kind of did that, I'm like, okay, it's still real big, but it has potential. All right, so once you've done that, if you like the density, if you like real big hair and it's nice and full and that's how you like it, then you'll, you'll be fine. You won't have to do much of anything to this hair if that's what you like. If you do not care for uh, dense hair like that, then one thing I, another thing I would suggest that you do is just take some scissors and follow the, the pattern of, the, of the, the tapered cut that's already there. 
enforce it a little bit more. Cause I mean, it definitely didn't come like this. This is a result of multiple clipping. Like for instance, take this right here and follow the pattern of the, the taper that's already there. So take it, what's sticking out. It's going this way, so I just kind of take it here and clip. Just like that. Pull it out and cut. See how that feels to you. Do the same in the back. I have a wig head. Put it, put it on the wig head and cut. But try to do as much as you can on your head because it is a difference between the wig head and your head. So you, you put it on. The, the back was a little bit too long for me. I just went right across just like that and cut it just like that. And the rest of the hair, I followed the pattern. And I just kept clipping. And even today, I find myself doing some clipping because I, to me, this is more my speed not the way it came as far as the density is concerned so uh, that's my tip number two every so often mm, take out a little bit of hair up this way boom make sure you're following the pattern up pull it out some more and then take your fingers try to style it a little bit and look in the mirror and say hmm that's still a little bit too big maybe I should just kind of trim it up some more just follow that pattern, put the hair in place the way it looks good on you. 